What's going on guys? Well, let me show you something real fast. All right, so I got my cell phone here. This is the Samsung S20, and it's connected to a quick charger that I've had, I don't know, for a couple years now. Um, this is a new phone. Check this out. Whenever I go to charge it, this is what it tells me. It does this all the time. I'm getting kind of tired of this. All right, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna install this dual USB quick charger uh, ports and basically it's gonna go down here in these removable ports that you have here and uh, I'll show you how, how to do it real quick it's gonna be super simple super easy get all the light down there but yeah these guys here just pop right out and um, <clears throat> the cool thing about this is it's only 14 bucks um, it's two uh, quick charging ports so you get you know two of them I'll show you what it looks like real quick and if you drive a Corolla Highlander a Camry and a RAV4 this thing is plug-and-play you don't have to cut any wires so check it out it actually has a harness here so it's plug-and-play for the Highlander the Camry the RAV4 and the Corolla and I have videos on how to do all that, how it plugs in place. So I'll leave those links down in the description if you want to see that thing just plug and play or how to take apart the car. Um, what it'll actually do is actually it'll use the power off the cigarette lighter here. And uh, so you unplug the cigarette lighter, it plugs in here, and this will plug back in your cigarette lighter and you won't lose your cigarette lighter. But in the Tundra, uh, it's not plug and play. And in the Tacoma, it's not plug and play. So I'm actually gonna have to cut this. But uh, yeah, the features on this thing are pretty cool. It's made to uh, charge up smartphones. It has a feature in it where it won't overcharge your phone. And yeah, it will charge at 3.2 amps, which is, I don't know if you've ever tried to use this USB charger here, but it is super duper slow. I don't know when I put my phone in and hook it up here, it says it's gonna charge in like 20 hours or something crazy. So uh, it should free up a little bit of, uh, should be able to get rid of this, which should be pretty cool. So. Show you how to install it real quick. It's gonna be simple. Uh, I am gonna have you are gonna have to cut the wire in this truck, but you know all you're gonna need is you know you can use some electrical tape. I got some snow caps here. I'll show you how those work. Some strippers, crimpers. But as far as the panel here, it comes off pretty easily. All you gotta do is pretty much pry it off. And what you're gonna want to do is get yourself a little prying tool, and all I gotta do is stick it in the corner right here and pry this panel out. This whole little panel will pop right off, and this is what we're gonna work at. So what you want to do is get yourself one of these plastic wedge tools, or you can use a screwdriver, but this won't make any marks on your plastic. Stick it in the corner here, and you can just pry on it. Okay. And so the insert here, it just pops out from behind. Just kind of clipped in there. Up. It does come with a fuse, an online fuse, which is good. Just gonna run the cable through here. Now, what I noticed when I kind of looked up this product on the internet is that it seemed like a lot of people were buying the wrong size. This thing actually comes in two different sizes. There's a bigger size and a small size. Uh, most of your new Toyotas use the smaller one, so you want to make sure you get the right one. Yeah. So actually Toyota makes like three different size ones of these and your older, older like Sequoias and uh, Tundras and stuff like that, you'll see these big round, kind of round oval shaped ones. But uh, yeah, this is the smaller one. Um, I'll leave a link down in the description box. Uh, they'll take you right to this thing on Amazon uh, so you can see uh, the sizes and you know what the same costs and all the features and you know if you want to get one, you can pick one up there. But I'll show you how nice and neat this thing fits in here but it is a nice tight fit. It's just gonna go. Slap it right in there. And you can see how nice and smooth it's like factory. So don't have to get rid of this. The next step is gonna be, I'm gonna end up um, cutting, doesn't matter which one of these you cut, cutting this off and just wiring it directly into the cigarette lighter plug here. 
Okay, so it's pretty simple as far as the wire colors go, which ones are positive and which ones are negative. Your red wire is going to be positive, and the white wire is going to be negative. On this side, it's the exact same thing. So you can choose whichever one. Um, now you can just tap into these wires if you want to. I'm actually going to cut mine off and uh, use some snow caps to hook this up. And I'll show you how that works here in a second. This just makes things just easy, I guess. But I'll take the plug here. And I'm going to strip the wires back. I'll strip this side here. A lot of people don't like to cut cut their stuff, but you know, it's not really that big of a deal. This is just a little power outlet, and I'm going to fix it up where you know it's not going to be really that big of a deal. Okay, got those two stripped up. I'm going to get this one here, and just pick a side. It doesn't matter. Cut the plug right off of it. Strip the wires. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist these. Twist these up like this. So the wire, what you're looking at here, you're negative, it's got them twisted and twisted like this. And what I'm going to use, I'm going to use these guys here, these are called snow caps right here. Okay. Now a lot of people don't like using these plastic rim type stuff. I mean, I'm not a big fan of them either as far as like alarm stuff goes, but it's something as simple as this. You can get away with it. If you ever go to Best Buy and have anything installed at Best Buy, this is all they use. They use these like crazy, so there's really nothing wrong with them as long as you do them right. But basically the way they work is they'll just go over the wires like this and you'll crimp them on. You can use pliers or you can use some crimpers. I got some nice crimpers here. So, but yeah, it makes it real simple. Real Alright, so boom, there you go. There's some crimp caps installed. Super easy. I just use the uh, the wire tie just to tie up some of the wires. All I gotta do is just plug the panel back in and I'll show you how it works. Alright, and then there we, have, there we go. It's nicely clean. Go ahead and get my phone cable here and I'll show you how it works. Plug it in here. And actually the top one, I forgot to mention this. See the top port you can plug in your USBs any way you want. Like, see, like this one, you can't go this way. You have to go this way. But on the top one, you can go this way. You can turn it around and this way. Pretty cool. I mean, come on. It's the little things, man, that make things cool. I mean, all right, so got it in there. Let's see if this thing charges up my phone. No more air. It's going to quick charge my phone in 38 minutes. It's pretty cool. You can see that it lights up red when it's charging, and when it's done charging, it's going to light up white. I'm going to go ahead and unplug it and show you what that looks like here. All right, so that's the color when it's done charging right there. All right, well, that's, that's it. It's super clean. It's installed. It's like $14. Link down in the description box. Um, I don't know what to say. It really kind of cleans up, you know, the interior. You don't have this big, gigantic thing in the way. Um, yeah, so check out the link. Uh, hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. I mean, if you drive a Toyota, you definitely, you're gonna want this. I promise you, you're gonna want that. It's, it's too cool. Um, you guys uh, stay safe out there and uh, take care. Be safe. Have a great weekend. Great month. Great. Great whatever. You just be careful out there. And again, I really appreciate you guys checking out the videos.